Hello everybody and welcome to the third episode of Engines of Via. Today we'll be looking at EMDs, E8, and the MLW FPA2s. Now with last week we did the P42 DC and I was originally disappointed with it while editing it. But after watching it when it was done, I didn't really mind it. Although, I did forget to mention here in Canada our P42 DCs are actually EPA-42As. But that's not the point of this video, is it? No, it's not. It's about the EMD E8s and FPA2s that Via Rail had. I am doing the E8s and the FPA2s for the third episode because once again, it is very hard to find information and even video of these engines in service. At this point in writing the script, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find clips of Via's E8s and FPA2s. But either way, Via Rail rostered them, so that means I have to cover them. Now let's actually talk about one of these engines, shall we? We will be starting off with the EMD E8. The EMD, the Electric Motive Division, E8s were built from 1949 to 1954. They were among the first diesel engines ever built. They weighed an outstanding 315,000 pounds. Their prime mover was an EMD 567B V12 two-stroke diesel engine, giving off 2,250 horsepower. The E stood for 1,800 horsepower, which is the amount of horsepower the early E8 units gave off. The units were specifically designed for passenger service, although with the exception of Conrail in the 1970s. There were 447 units built for various companies in the United States that included Union Pacific, Santa Fe, and the Illinois Central, just to name a few. But there was only two engines built for Canada. The railroad in question is the Canadian Pacific. Canadian Pacific bought two engines for their passenger service. I could not find the date CP ordered the engines. If you know, please let me know down in the comments below. Canadian Pacific E8s were numbered CP 1800 to 1802. The E8s were used on the Transcontinental, now the Canadian. They were used by CP up until the formation of Via Rail in 1977. But we went over how Via was formed in the first episode. But if you haven't watched the first episode, I highly encourage you to do so. Anyway, Canadian Pacific numbers 1800 and 1802 were given to Via upon its formation. Wait! Stop! While I was reading the script and narrating this video, I actually found an error in my research. The engines weren't actually numbered 1800 and 1802. The numbers were actually 1800 and 1801. I don't know how I came up with 1802. So anytime you hear me say 1800 and 1802, what I actually mean is 1800 and 1801. But anyways, back to your regular scheduled program. Via Rail only used the engines from 1977 to 1980 when they either sold or scrapped the engines. As I said at the beginning of this video, it is extremely hard to find information on these engines since they were not very well documented. The engines, like CP did, used them on the Canadian, since they were rated at 2,250 horsepower instead of using two FP9Us which were only rated at 1,750 horsepower. It was more efficient to use two engines that equaled up to 4,500 horsepower instead of using three engines that added up to 5,250 horsepower. Although that sounds kind of weird. Why wouldn't you use three engines? It adds up to more horsepower. Well, if you look at it this way, it was a lot more efficient to just use two giant locomotives other than using one engine and two B units, or another engine. Okay, now onto the next locomotive of the video. The Montreal Locomotive Works FPA2. I thought later on while writing the script, why not do two engines instead of one, so that I could meet the goal of five minutes per Engines of Via episode. Okay, now getting to the engine at hand, I already covered the FPA4 in the first episode, so go check it out like I said before. The MLW, Montreal Locomotive Works, FPA2 was built between 1946 and 1959. They weighed 243,000 pounds. They had an Elko 244 V12 4-stroke diesel engine, giving off 1,600 horsepower. Like her successor, the FPA4, they had a top speed of 105 kilometers an hour. The FPA2 had a very short career, only lasting up until the mid-60s. Although, here in Canada, CP used the locomotive as much as they possibly could, retiring the fleet in 1977. But Via Rail numbers 6758 and 6759, ex-Canadian National, survived with Via Rail up until 1989. Although, Via Rail rebuilt the engines into FPA4s, they still were built as FPA2s. The way you can tell an FPA4 and an FPA2 apart are from the back radiator vents. The FPA4 has a larger vent extending down half the body, unlike the FPA2 which only used the top portion of the locomotive body. Thank you for watching the third episode of Engines of Via! While writing the script that I'm still reading off of for this video, it seems like it might be kind of disappointing. Although, I originally wasn't actually going to do both E8s and the FPA2s together. I decided to do this so the video could actually meet the 5-minute goal I have for it. I also think that I'm going to close the suggestions for Engines of Via since I pre-edit and write the videos about a week before. I am writing the script for this video on June 11th, a whole week before the video was supposed to come out. 
With the rushed efforts to get the P42DC episode out, it seemed like the right thing to do. I find it actually kind of hard to write long enough scripts for these videos, since I don't do the history of VIA in them. In the first episode, the history and the intro to the video took up about 2-3 to three minutes. But when it comes down to just focusing on a single engine, it proves difficult. Since I have given you two possibly disappointing videos over the past two weeks, I think that I'm going to focus on a bigger topic for next week's episode. With doing a more well-known engine, that means I can give you more history and overall more information making the episode longer. So next week we will do the Via Rail FP9s and the FP9U rebuilds. So stay tuned for Engines of Via Episode 4 EMD FP9s. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe for more rail fanning and Engines of Via. I will see you guys in the next episode of Engines of Via.